All right, joining us now is the head coach of the Ohio State Buckeyes, Chris Holtman. Uh, coach, we're, we're, we just saw the bracket revealed. Uh, this is an exciting time for a lot of people, yet you're kind of coming off of a, a very heartbreaking in a lot of ways loss to, to Illinois. You're playing for Big Ten Championship, losing overtime. Um, how? What is your mindset? How do you kind of – you know, not, not dwell on licking your wounds from that game and kind of pivot towards the, the, the next chapter of the season. Um, where, where are you at right now through, with all of that, processing what today was? Yeah, you know, I, I think um, it's good to be with you guys uh, again here. Um, you know, I listen, I, I think we, we obviously poured a lot into this week. <clears throat> uh, we were certainly playing some, some of our – I think we had some of the best stretches of basketball – uh, that we've had all season and, and obviously our season, you know, has been a really good one up to this point. We just, um, you know, you feel that one when it's right there and, and you battle back like we did, but give Illinois credit. They're a really good team. And uh, they just made a few more plays, but, you know, I think you want your guys to kind of feel that, feel the loss and feel it for what it is. Um, but I think how they played, and uh, certainly the resolve they showed uh, gives me great, you know, honestly, optimism. And mm -hmm. there's no guarantees in this tournament. You guys know that yep. uh, as well as anybody. So, um, you know, we leave here feeling disappointed, but I think we've got to move quickly and, and we got to get our guys in a good headspace and then physically right. And, Coach, we'll go on the lighter side of things here because, you know, you are our coach of the program. We call you our coach of the program. We defend you no matter what. We put you out there. And you did something great for us. You made oh, you made content. Yeah. That, 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 you guys defend <laughs> Whatever it takes, Coach. But, but, but – <laughs> <laughs> you 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 made content because your mom you you put out the you used the mark titus tactic you took a screenshot of a text message uh you know <laughs> mark did this with duncan robinson you do it with your mom you know she gives you the advice your team's shooting a little flat-footed um you know that yeah. moment in time how much has your mom enjoyed that and how much are you annoyed now that every single interview they're going to ask you about your mom <laughs> texting you yeah 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 that was I, I thought honestly you, you know, in our in our uh, business, guys, you know this is, you know, people, you know, they kind of get to know you, but they don't really know you. So sometimes, you know, there's a human element that we all have. And listen, my mom thinks she knows what she's talking about. Like she <laughs> sounded like she did, Coach. Thinks that she could come and like probably a lot of a lot of fans, she thinks she could come and do our job, and <laughs> in some cases, do it better than mine. And maybe she's got a point, but I think. Uh, when she sent that, I, you know, I did just, I like, here, here, here goes mom again. You know, she's <laughs> telling me who to sub and what's wrong with our shooting. Um, I thought, you know, Hey, listen, it'll provide a little bit of moment of, uh, uh, people understanding what we do. You know, everybody, when you drop a few games and we drop four in a row, I'm sure if I had searched the and scoured the internet, I'd have found a lot of suggestions on yeah. how we can be better. Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of them contradicting each other. A lot of them. Well, it's just, best yeah. to get it from your mom. Yeah, you can <laughs> yeah. take that. So just uh, did yeah. she? Did she, did she uh, yeah, that's right. Was that your halftime speech today? You just showed your mom's text. Like <laughs> yeah. you guys were shooting so poorly in the first half. You just put mom's text on the screen and said, "Come on, guys, show them the text." <laughs> right. uh, we had yeah, we had it ready to go on the screen in there. I told the, the, the staff <laughs> get that thing ready. See if that you know motivates us to make some shots. Make I think we what were we all of eight at one point. Yeah. Three, uh, it's in the um, it's in the past. We don't need to we don't need to dwell on it now. Yeah. Um, obviously, what makes March Madness so fun for a neutral observer is the insanity of all these games. That mm. the games come down to the wire, last second shots. It's entertaining. It is it is the greatest sporting event in the world. We know that. Um, as a head coach of a team that has a tendency now, we're finding ourselves more and more to be in these heart wrenching games. I mean, every every game in this Big Ten tournament. Uh, and even going back, you talked yeah. about the four-game losing streak, all exception with the Iowa game maybe, but all of them came down to the wire. Um, yeah. What is that like from your perspective? Because I am I am losing my mind <laughs> watching these games. Like, how do you stay calm? How Titus you, is falling apart, I'm, Coach. I'm watching. I'm not watching. I'm like, I can't watch. I can't watch. I'm, it's better luck when I don't. Okay, now I need to watch. Uh, how do you process it? How, put us in your shoes during all these moments. Well, listen, first of all, Keep watching. Okay. We need you, Titus. <laughs> right. um, we need you, man. Keep, keep, we need the good vibes. Um, you know, you, you know, um, so sometimes you probably, you know, this is hard. What we're doing, we're dealing with imperfect people, yep. um, imperfect coaches for that matter. We, you know, the last four minutes can get a little bit. I, I did think, 
you know, I, 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 I thought we got a little bit tight in the Minnesota game after losing four in a row mm -hmm. late. And I just tried to put things in perspective and it's understandable. Right. Um, uh, but I, I, I thought that was important for us uh, just to, you know, to respond and make one, one final play there when they had so much momentum and listen, some of the other games were, um, you know, you're playing a really good team in Purdue. Mm -hmm. It's not like you're going to go. That was our best half of the season, yep. that first half. So to think that you're going to go and, you know, put another, you know, 10 spot on them, it's not, it's not college. It's not real. Mm -hmm. So there's an understanding that there are ebbs and flows in our game. Now, fans don't always understand that, <laughs> but I think coaches and people who follow our game uh, do for the most part. What we have to do is kind of own the fact that, hey, listen, there's some things – you know, that we can do better that I thought we did really, really well tonight. Um, that'll help us maybe not create so much drama. late. Well, games. let's, uh, let's focus on what you did well tonight, what you've done well during the big 10 tournament, what you've done, done well all season, give Ohio state fans like myself, like a lot of people watching, uh, g give us optimism. What, what do you like about this team going into to March madness? What, what is it that, that you're like, man, this is, this is something really good. And I see something here and, and this is, there's a reason to be, excited about these next three weeks well listen i you know you and i talked you know you and i talked in the season when when we were picked you know whatever seventh or eighth and you said i think hey i, I like your team better than that and i i agreed with you at that point yeah i didn't know what that meant but i knew our league was loaded um i, I love our versatility i think it, for us our team the, the first thing it begins with is we really do have a connected group, mm -hmm. you know, that gets overused and, you know, coaches, Oh, I do it. We really do have a connected group and a really unselfish group. You know, you, you played on some elite teams here in, and played with some elite guys and you know what a connected group looks like. And uh, we really have that. And then we've got a really versatile group too. Now, defensively, uh, we've, we've just been okay. Mm -hmm. And that's unique because normally our teams have been really good defensively. We've just been okay. Now this big 10 tournament, we were, we were good defensively. We were really good. And if you combine that with our offense, which has been elite for, you know, the better part of most of the year, top five, yep. top six in the country, I think that gives us a chance, you know, but again, you're trying to go on a, one game, one streak in this deal. And that's mm. all we're concerned about right now. Mm. Mm. I love it, Coach Holtman. I, I love the idea of this team, you know, kind of laying things down the defensive end. Because like you said, they've been the most fun team to watch. I mean, Titus and I, when we watch Ohio State play, I mean, I remember the Michigan-Ohio State game the first time that Sunday. That kind of captured the, the hearts of America. But game of the year. See, game of the year, right? Yeah. We, we yeah. saw college basketball at this high level. So we know that Ohio State can get there, Coach, and uh, we're pulling for them yeah. to do it. How, how excited, I guess this is my final question, Coach. How excited are you uh, looking at the bracket? I don't see an, an immediate opponent that has like a, <laughs> a, a seven-foot behemoth brick house that you're going to have to throw 30 guys at after Lord knows yeah. how many games in a row that you've had to do that. <laughs> I, I, am, I am, but I'll be honest with you, guys. You know, like we have used that a bit to our advantage this year. Yeah. So the versatility of EJ – Yeah. Um. And then, and then obviously when Purdue did what we knew they were going to do and, and put their big seven Edie. plus guy yep. on Kyle, um, you know, it allowed us to play versatile on the front line. And we, we've really, I think, used that to, to our strength in a lot of ways. Um, and again, I don't know all the teams and obviously Kofi's a monster, but, um, I probably don't worry about that quite as much as maybe others do who do legitimately look at us and say, Man, they're kind of undersized yeah. on the front line. We are, but I think we're pretty versatile. And when we fight, we're pretty good. Now, Trayvon Williams got us, and uh, I think we we kind of committed to to playing single coverage with him mm -hmm. um, because of what maybe had, had been done in the previous games. And um, you know, I think at the end of the day, that worked out well for us. But uh, you know, we'll see. We'll adjust from game to game if we do play a guy like that. Mm. Coach, we appreciate the time. Go rest up. Go, uh, go get ready to go one and zero, as you said. Just, just do me a favor. Go one and zero six times in a row. Please. <laughs> I, know, I know you're trying to just go one and zero, but I, I don't mind if you do it six times in a row. That'd be pretty nice. <laughs> you're the best, coach. Thank you. We'll do our best. Sorry, we couldn't get it done for you today. Guys. No, please, please. You're the best, coach. Take it easy. All right. All right. 
Hey there, thanks for watching Titus and Tate. For the full friend of the program experience, subscribe right below and come join us for all things college basketball. The action is heating up. Come join Titus and Tate.